What's up YouTube? It's Heretic here. Well, today we are looking at a deck that I saw start to pop up over the weekend on the Pokemon Trading Card Game online. So, I remembered Mew1464's old build for for uh, Durant from Noble Victories, and so I decided to go ahead and put together my own variant of this deck. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it here. Um, for Durant, this is kind of the, the core, really. Devour for one metal energy. For every Durant you have in play, you discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So if you get all four of them out, you are discarding four cards off the top of your opponent's deck for one energy, which is pretty awesome. And that adds up real fast, especially when you consider that this deck does not run any Pokemon that any, any Pokemon EX. So anything that would yield two prizes at once or accelerate the prize drawing process. We also run four copies of Mew, which can act as more Durants. Unfortunately, they can't for they can't discard more cards off the top of your opponent's deck you still max out at four since it's not actually a durant itself but you can use it to attack while your durant sit on the bench and force your opponent to play lysander if they want to knock these things out uh, we've also got four crushing hammers to kind of slow our opponent's attacks down while we continue to mill their cards for level ball because all eight of our pokemon have less than 90 hp so no reason to be discarding our resources for ultra ball when we can just play level ball for Puzzle of Time, uh, this is mainly to get back Durant's Energy, our A-Spec Life Dew, which can deny prize cards even more, and all other all other kinds of stuff here. Uh, four Revives, likewise to get Durant's out of the discard. I chose this over Buddy Buddy Rescue since we don't, again, we don't run anything like Shaman where we would benefit more from having it in our hand as opposed to on the bench. So I just went, went ahead and went with Revive. Um, two switches, just in case we get a Durant stuck active that doesn't have an energy, because Mew has free retreat and all that, but th these could easily be candidates to be cut from the deck, maybe bulk up our supporter line. Um, we got four trainers mails, just to reach for some more stuff, early game supporters, level walls, etc. And then four VS Seekers, obviously, for uh, supporter usage. And we got supporters are a little wonky in this deck, you probably won't see a supporter line like this anywhere else, but... Uh, one ace trainer because we don't draw prize cards so as soon as our opponent takes a prize this is a live card for the rest of the game um we've got three bridget this is really just to increase the odds that we get at turn one you could also actually actually try to bump this all the way up to four um to try and get all of our durants out early and do that on a consistent basis run one lysander just to bring up something with a heavy retreat cost try to stall our opponent out one n um, early game, if your opponent plays some cards down, you can make them draw more cards, which is normally a no-no, but in, in a deck like this, it's since our goal is to deck out our opponent, it's definitely beneficial. We have only two Professor Sycamores, and the big reason for that is our stuff's going to get knocked out a lot, so we run four teammates. And this not only works well with Puzzle of Time, but it also just helps us pull the cards we need from the deck and then prevent ourselves from decking out in the process of decking our opponent because our opponent could decide to play a little slower in terms of how many cards they draw and we don't want to be decking ourselves out then or drawing too many cards on our own in that case although if things go off it really shouldn't matter if you sycamore even four times in a game because you're you're milling out your opponent at a much faster pace then we have life do as our ace spec of choice um again just to slow down the uh, the, if your opponent's drawing a prize cards for a seven prize game, you can also retrieve it with Puzzle of Time, use it again. Then we've got four Rescue Scarves, attach these to your Durants, and they get knocked out, you just bring them back to your hand. You can put them right back down on the bench. Kind of works just like Revive does, or Puzzle of Time to get Durants back. Two Headringers for uh, the EX Heavy decks. Um, this is again, just like the same vein as Crushing Hammer to try to slow them down keep their attacks a, a turn or two behind and then seven metal energies to fuel our devour attack amongst durant and mew um so it's a pretty simple and straightforward deck other than a couple one ofs in our a spec and some of our supporters really everything you got a, a two of here you know and over here head ringer switch and sycamore everything else is four of and then seven energies um so a lot of consistency you can see with all the four ofs that we've got in this deck but we're going to go ahead and take it for a spin, play a couple of games, and see how it does. All right, so here comes Durant Mew. And uh, let's hope that, in this instance, our prizes don't screw us over. That's really one of the concerns with a deck like this. You start prizing Durants, and that just tempers what the entire deck can do in the course of a game. 
So it looks like our opponent's going to probably choose to go first here. And unless we get locked down somehow, that's actually probably pretty good for us. Just going first can actually be rather favorable with a deck like this, being able to attack before our opponent. And also, of course, the one card they, that they draw to start their turn. So we're going to start with a mulligan. Maybe we give up an extra card here. Oh, looks like another one. We'll see if our opponent chooses to take mulligans or not here. So we're going to start with a Mew, it looks like. Alright, so we'll see if our opponent decides to draw mulligans here. Alright, so two mulligans drawn. And another Pokemon on the bench. Verizian Genesect, alrighty. Well, I have to hope that we can hit some hammers here and prevent these things from going off too much. We also do have a trusty Headringer in hand, which if we can, if, if a tool is not laid down on that active Verizian, we can definitely give that thing a headache. So that's another uh, beneficial option we've got here. And this is trying to see if maybe, okay, so it looks like he's not gonna do too much here. So we can go ahead and play Trainer's Mail, and we're going to hit a Professor Sycamore on that, which is pretty darn good for right now. So we can grab that, attach a Metal Energy to Mew, put a Head Ringer on the active Verizion, and let's see, we'll go ahead and use the Rescue Scarf and play Professor Sycamore to discard the rest. Okay, and we're going to hit a couple of Durants here. We also get a Crushing Hammer. So, unfortunately, we flip tails on that, but we get a couple of Durants to start out here, and we're going to go ahead and use Devour to take two cards off the top of our opponent's deck, and we hit VS Seeker and Hex Maniac. Not too bad. Now, next turn, we can just bridge it and get the, the other two Durants out, as well as another Mew, and then we'll have a Teammates and a VS Seeker handy for the turn following. So, we see a Max Elixir come down, and no energy, so... Probably a good sign for us, since we whiffed that Crushing Hammer. We'll see what our opponent decides to do here. So we see an Energy on the Benched Verizion. So maybe we can try to dig for another Head Ringer here, although I'm thinking Bridget is probably the more, uh, probably the better play at the time being. So, But our opponent's going to end instead, so maybe we'll draw something off that. And not much. Alright, looks like we are going to be going in for the Sycamore again on our turn. So we see a Startling Megaphone discard our Rescue Scarf. And then we see an Ultra Ball discarding a Grass and a Jirachi. So we'll see if a Shaman, yep. So a Shaman comes down and that's going to draw four cards it looks like right now. Yep. So four cards will be drawn with Shaman. We see a Fighting Fury Belt go onto that other Verizian, so we won't be able to put a Head Ringer on it. And then our opponent passes the turn, so we can go ahead and bench this Mew, throw another Rescue Scarf on the active one. Although realistically, we could probably throw those on Durant, and I think that might be a little better use of it. Um, go ahead and put another energy on this Mew, and we'll do a VS Seeker here and retrieve that Professor Sycamore from before so we can just use it again. Okay, so we're going to get a third Durant here, and we can Ultra Ball for the fourth one. Nice to see that none of them ended up in the prizes. And then we've got a Crushing Hammer which, once again, we got Tails, unfortunately. But we can devour four cards off the top of our opponent's deck here. So we get some stuff there. It looks like the Plasma Energy went. And, you know, we got a Muscle Band. It's like another Max Elixir.
So we'll probably get knocked out this turn due to an Emerald Slash. Just kind of looking at the situation here. We could have also attached energy to a Durant and retreated into that because it would have survived Emerald Slash since he has a Fighting Fury Belt rather than a Muscle Band. So that's definitely another thing we could have, another option we could have had. And we're going to see, let's see, attaches an energy to the Bench Verizion, plays an Ultra Ball, tosses Cassius and AZ. And we'll see if maybe another Shaman or Jirachi. Okay, so he goes and gets Jirachi EX. Now we're going to be able to set up our first puzzle of time play here, it looks like, with teammates. So he grabs a Lysander. But he's not able to knock out a Durant, so he's, he's going to bring it forward anyway. So that's going to take away... Our ability to use teammates since he won't be able to knock us out and then we're gonna see a VS seeker he's gonna grab Lysander right back he's gonna switch to his act or switch to it switches Verizion out to the bench Verizion that has enough energy to E slash and we're gonna see an Emerald slash here presumably put two energies on the Genesect EX that is on his bench god I love that full art All right, so we'll draw, and we get a Versus Seeker, which I'm not sure if, outside of Professor Sycamore if there's really much we can do with that. Doesn't look like it. We've got one puzzle of time in the discard already. I know we're running thin on VS Seekers. I think this is, this is our third one. Okay. So we can do a couple things. Skyro Bridge just kind of means that everything retreats for free, so it might actually just be better holding the VS Seeker, I think. Just retreat into that guy. Now, he'll be able to Megalo for a double knockout here, which kind of sucks. But we're going to just continue to devour cards off the top of our opponent's deck. So he'll be able to retreat into Genesect this turn. We see a Max Elixir come down. We'll see if he gets another energy off this. Yep, and so that'll give Genesect enough energy to use Megalo Cannon, which will knock out two of our Pokemon, and that'll put us in position here. And it's, he's going to take two Durants, it looks like, which is a pretty good play. So we're going to see Megalo Cannon here, and that's going to take out our active Durant and the one with the damage on the bench. So he's going to get a couple of prize cards here. We're going to get some options on our turn, though. Now, we've discarded one Revive, and we still have use of Puzzle of Time because we have one in hand, so we can get another one and then actually retrieve the one that's still sitting in the discard pile. So we can go ahead and play this Teammates. And let's see where we're looking in terms of Puzzles. And potentially what's in the prizes. Okay, so we got one more left in deck. So we're only going to get one play here, it looks like. But we can also look for Revive. So we can grab a Revive. And we can use that to get one of our Durants back. And then we can use Puzzle of Time. Playing two copies. And we can retrieve another Durant. And let's see here. Do a rescue scarf on one of them, although then he'll just start targeting the other ones. Um, I'm going to go with a crushing hammer, I think. So we'll go ahead and play this crushing hammer. Try to discard one of the energies off his Genesect. And then we'll go ahead and put another Durant down. And we'll just devour again and take four more cards off the top of his deck. And next next turn, he knocks us out again. We can just turn around and go to uh, go for an attempt to um, teammates for uh, life do, which would definitely be of assistance here. Let's we'll see if he gets the plasma energy to initiate a red signal he also sycamore himself down to six cards in deck so we are going to see red signal here so he's going to bring up one of our durants and we'll see one of them get knocked out 
but we'll be able to teammates here for the life do it looks like and also the um probably another revive because i think we only have two revives gone so we should still have one or two left depending on what ended up in the prizes so he'll get one prize card here but we can run him down pretty good from here on out i think and he can end he can end some of his hand back in we actually draw a, another copy of teammates so we won't have to vs seeker here we can simply play the teammates and we can get two revives here, actually. But since he only knocked out one, I'm going to go ahead and just grab a single copy here. And let's see, he's got a muscle band, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and take the life do. And we're going to throw that on the active one here, and we're going to go ahead and revive again. We're going to retreat into the other Mew that has the life due attached to it. And we'll go ahead and devour for four more cards. So we've got him down to one card. And he still needs to take three knockouts. So we see another Genesect come down and it gets a plasma energy. So we're gonna see another red signal here. So he's just been kind of picking around our Mews and our rescue scarves and life do but right now that's not of too that's not too large of a concern as he still would have to uh, bench snipe the uh, durant with 20 on it three more times to knock it out thanks to its 70 hp so by by that time he would just be able to take three knockouts anyway We do have one revive left in the deck. We can also pull a metal energy out of the deck if we need to, although it doesn't look like he's planning on attacking our Muse anytime soon. Okay, so we see VS Seeker, so he's going to go ahead and grab the end and put a couple more cards back in his deck, but it doesn't look like that's going to be enough because we're still going to be able to mill four cards off the top of his deck on our turn. Unless we, well, it, it all depends on that VS Seeker, actually. If we, As long as we get access to Revive, although we st he's still only got three, which is still enough, so he can knock one out, but we'll still be taking three cards off his deck. So he can go ahead and knock out the Durant here, but it doesn't look like that's going to make any difference because we're just going to be able to bring up the Mew, copy Devour, take the last three cards from his deck, and then that will be the game. And I think he realized that, so he went ahead and forfeited as we had game in the bag there. So that's, uh, that's one round, and we're going to go ahead and do one more with this deck just to kind of have a little fun, but uh, that's game one. Okay, so we go again and see if we've uh, maybe hit another uh, big expanded meta deck. Vrizzy and Genesect, you know, making a comeback really now, and it's, I think it's really cool to see that, to see an, an old favorite like that kind of make a comeback. Great counter to stuff like Hypnotoxic Laser, too. Now, we actually don't mulligan this time, which is interesting. With a deck like this, I would expect to mulligan at least once, but I guess with eight basics, we've seen decks with fewer, like Greninja. So, shouldn't be too crazy. And our opponent's got a Mew up front as well. So, we'll see if this is maybe a Night March, or if we are... I mean, I find it hard to believe we'd be looking at a Mirror Match. I, I have seen a couple of these decks on here, but... I really would be that'd actually be pretty awkward all things considered so we'll see what's going on here and hopefully maybe he thinks we're playing night march and he's just like okay let's just plow through the deck so we do see the battle compressor now this is a matchup where if we could just continue to stream attackers we should be okay because he doesn't have any two prize knockouts and they also don't run a lot of energy so we should be able to conti continuously, if we can flip heads on Crushing Hammer, be able to take their energy away from them. So we see Archeops, and then Lampant, and Maxi. And you go right ahead and bring Archeops out. I'm perfectly fine with that. So we see another Ultra Ball, Jirachi EX, and Marowak. It's kind of cool to see that included. 
definitely a neat card. So we see another Mew come out. And he'll only need to get maybe two, or if he has a Fighting Fury belt, only one Night Marcher in the discard to use Mew to take knockouts on other Mews. So we do see a couple of Night Marchers come down, and then a VS Seeker for Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. So we're going to see something come out. We'll see what it is. Archaeops, alright. And that's fine with me. I have no qualms with Archaeops hanging out on the bench. So we have absolutely nothing we evolve here, and he can just continue to rip through his deck. Is really the only concern here would be us not drawing another basic, which is a bit alarming, I have to say, but still. So he trainers mails a couple of times, and then we see a computer search go into his hand, but now he's just going to pass, so it's going to come down to our trainers mail here. And we are going to hit a Professor Sycamore, so we're going to get to draw some stuff. Uh, that head ringer is pretty useless. Um, so looks like we can attach a metal energy here and attach a rescue scarf and go ahead and do a professor sycamore throw the rest of that away and we are still okay we didn't hit another pokemon but we did hit a couple of of uh level balls now we prized a durant this game and that's that's notable so we're gonna have to keep our eyes on that but we can go ahead and pull a couple of them out of the deck to start out here and then we'll be able to do devour for two cards and maybe we can hit some energy instead we're fueling his night marchers so he's got three marchers in his discard which is all he's ever going to need to take out mew durant will be a little beefier would need four from joltik and five from uh pumpkaboo before any damage modifiers due to its resistance to psychic same rules with pumpkaboo's damage would apply to mew as well so we see a muscle band go onto his Mew, and then he, he plays a trainer's mail here. So we've definitely got some resources, so if he decides he wants to Lysander up a Durant and knock it out, or play an escape rope, I guess, because that works too, we'll just be able to revive it right back onto the board, and then play our VS Seeker to get a Professor Sycamore. So here's Computer Search now. Discards Professor Sycamore and a... Joltik, and he's not really going to need to grab any more attackers. He can just ditch them all throughout the course of this game. But he's already down to 18 cards in deck and having taken no prize cards yet. And he's going to have to take six knockouts individually. So we'll see what he ends up searching here. So it is a VS Seeker, and he's going to grab Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick again. So we're going to see Marowak on the board now. But again, that really doesn't mean anything since we don't affect him or his hand. We're affecting his deck. So that shouldn't change anything as far as what we're trying to do here. We see an Acrobike, and he just discards Target Whistle because I really don't think he wants to play that. And he plays another Battle Compressor. So, I mean, hey, you know, if you want to thin the deck out for me, that's fine. It looks like I looked at the wrong number previously. He's got 19 cards in his deck. So we'll see an energy come down, and we're just waiting on that Dimension Valley now. And so he's going to use Encounter instead. He doesn't have the Dimension Valley. So we're going to see him search his deck for a Pokemon and add it to his hand, and we're going to see a Shaman. But he's got a full board, so he's going to have to do something to remove one of those if he wants to be able to use that. We can go ahead and play a Crushing Hammer here, discard his energy. And then I think we'll just go ahead and attach here. And I'm not really too concerned about the rest of this. We can play the end, actually. That'll make him draw a couple more cards. Bring him a couple close, a couple cards closer to decking out. All right. We're unfortunately not going to get any more Durants this turn. But we can go ahead and throw another Mew down. And use Devour to take two more cards off the top of his deck. And we get a Shaman and an Acrobike. So we've already got him down to 13 cards in deck, and again, as I said, he has not taken a prize card yet. Whiffing that attack last turn, I think, really hurt. So we'll see if maybe there's something we can do. And instead, he's just going to go ahead and scoop it up, and I think we had him in a, in a pretty good spot there where he wasn't going to be able to do much, but a pretty solid come through right there, and gotta say I'm satisfied with the way this deck performed in those two games. Um, absolutely awesome. So, um... That is Durant Mew, at least for right now, and I'm Heretic. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.